Mr. Peterson. <clears throat> you may take your earphones off now, if you want to. Mr. Peterson, you say you work as a baker's helper. Is that correct? Yes, that is right. What other occupations have you held? I have worked for my father. What did your father do? He was a railroad worker. Yes, but uh, what did he do? Oh, well, he would raise and lower the barrier at the crossing for traffic. And you spoke about your brothers. How many brothers do you have? Five. And sisters? Four. Well, then you are a family of ten. Yes. What occupations do your brothers have? Laborers. All laborers? I see. Mr. Peterson, you said the court at Stuttgart asked you two questions. The birth dates of Hitler and Dr. Goebbels. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, correct. What else did they ask you? Uh, nothing else. Are you sure? Are you sure there were no questions about your schooling? Objection! The witness has already answered that question. Objection sustained. May I ask you, Mr. Peterson? May I ask you, how long did you attend school? Six years. Six years? Why not longer? I had to go to work. Will you consider yourself a very bright fellow at school? At school, it was... Uh, it was a long while ago. I don't... Perhaps you were not able to keep up with the others, and that's why you did not continue. Objection, Your Honor. The witness's school record has nothing to do with what happened to him. It was the task of the health court to sterilize the mentally incompetent. Objection overruled. Were you able? Or were you not able to keep up with the others? I would like to refer to the efficiency report made at the school about Mr. Peterson. He failed to be promoted and was placed in a class of backward children. You say your parents died of natural causes. Yes. Would you describe in detail the illness your mother died of? She died of her heart. In the last stages of her illness, did your mother show any mental peculiarities? A uh, man? No. No. In the decision that came down from Stuttgart, it is stated that your mother suffered from hereditary feeble-mindedness. That is not... that's not true, not true, not true. Can you give us some clarification as to how the hereditary health court in Stuttgart arrived at that decision? It was just something they said to put me on the operating table. It was just something they said? Yes! Mr. Peterson, there was a simple test that the health court used to ask in all cases of mental incompetence. Since you say they did not ask you then, perhaps you can answer it for us now. Form a sentence out of the words, Hare, Hunter, Field. Your Honor, objection. Mr. Peterson, uh, was the court in Stuttgart constituted like this one? I don't understand, but... Was there an audience? 
An audience? Yes, yes. Thank you. Objection overruled. Herr Hunter Field, Mr. Peterson. Take your time. Hunter Field. Uh. <clears throat> Herr Hunter. They had already made up. When I walked into the court. They had made up their minds. They had made up their minds. They put me in the hospital like a criminal. I could not say anything. I could not do anything. I, I had to lay there. And my mother, what you say about her, she was a woman. A servant woman who worked hard. She was a hard-working woman. And it is not fair, not fair what you say. I have here. I want to show you. I have here her, pic her picture. I would like you looked at it. I would like you to judge. I, I want that you tell me, was she feeble-minded? My mother, was she feeble-minded? Was she? I feel it is my duty to point out to the tribunal that the witness is not in control of his mental processes. I know I am not. Since that day, I've been half I've ever been. The tribunal does not know how you were before. Can never know. That's only your word. Court is adjourned.